the good. For the good load, you can see good cohesion. The mix stays together in the chute when it is discharged. When the mix is introduced into the waste box, the rock is visibly suspended on the surface after discharge. During the slump test for the good load, the mix looks a little thick, but it still flows well. The tested slump for this concrete is 10 inches, which is at the upper limit of the mix design. When you see this, everyone is happy. The bad. For the bad load, you can see that the mix is more flowable than the good load. The concrete is starting to look watery. The mix is showing signs of separation as it flows down the chute. When the mix is introduced into the waste box, the rocks are starting to sink below the surface and there is a lot of paste visible. You may see bubbles rising to the surface of the concrete. During the slump test, the mix looks very watery. When the slump cone is lifted, the mix runs quickly and there is a lot of paste visible on the surface of the test specimen. The slump tested is 11 inches. This is one inch greater than the mix design limit. This load is marginal. This concrete may be rejected at the job site. When you see this, notify QC, dispatch, or the batch man. The ugly. For the ugly load, the concrete is obviously separating at discharge. At the beginning of discharge, there is only paste. The mix is so watery, the rocks sink immediately after discharge into the waste box. You may see bubbles rising to the surface of the concrete. During the slump test, there is a pile of rocks on the slump board and a ring of paste that may flow as far as 36 inches in all directions. When concrete is in this condition, the slump test results may actually be in compliance, but the concrete is separating, so the mix is not acceptable. When you see this condition, do not continue discharging the load. Notify the customer and the batch man or QC staff. Continuing to discharge this load may lead to costly back charges or structural failure. Thank mm -hmm. you.